get you out of my head Girl, your love is all I think about I just can't get you out of Hey guys, so it's been a long time since I sat down and filmed a story time video for you guys and I wasn't really thinking of doing a story time anytime soon and I didn't really know what story to talk about until these things that I'm about to talk about have been happening. It has gotten really intense recently so that's why I decided to do this particular story time for you guys. You guys have read the title and I'm warning you right now, if you are a younger person or you don't like scary stuff, don't watch this video. It's not gonna be fun to listen to. And um, especially during nighttime, don't watch this video. You've been warned. Okay, so um, let's start the story. This particular thing has been happening ever since I moved in. And um, some might even like say, you know what, Milana, that's not a ghost, but I personally think it is a ghost and I think it's just showing me that hey I'm here hello let's be friends whenever this specific thing would happen I would just ignore it and act like I didn't hear it and see it so what I'm talking about is my door um, right now currently my door is I believe it's closed yes it's shut fully and nothing happens when the door is shut fully it doesn't open itself like in scary movies however what's been happening with my door is whenever my door is not fully shut um, it would start moving on its own. Now, you might be like, Milana, that's just the wind. It happens. I understand that. That's a good point. I get you. But, where is there wind when it's like negative 30 degrees out? I live in Canada, okay? My windows are not open. Um, they're sealed, actually. And there's no wind action happening at my house. But usually what would happen is my door, it will start to open up like a little bit and it will start hitting itself against the the closing area or whatever it's called. It will start just hitting itself like this. And it wouldn't open up too much. It would just be like, you know what I mean? That's what it would do. Um, and it's pretty scary, especially at nighttime. So whenever I do go to sleep, my door is either fully open or fully closed. Usually it's closed because I'm scared one night it's just going to slam itself. That's just going to scare the crap out of me. That's the first thing that has been happening. Not a big deal. Could be possibly the wind. I don't think so because my windows are closed all the time. But you know what? Whatever. Could happen. The next thing is my vivid dreams. At my old house, whenever my closet door would be open, I would get the worst dreams ever, very vivid, and I even spoke about my experience where I saw something in front of me. You could check that out in my old video. I will link it down below. But here, my closet doors are always closed. And I don't remember the last time I didn't have a vivid dream in this room. It's just, it's been a struggle and it's not something I can personally control. Um, it's just a thing now. I don't get enough sleep. Every time I wake up I feel like super tired. And at my old house I would never even have dreams. So, I mean, it sucks. Sometimes it could be so horrible I would wake up crying. So... That's been happening, but then again, you could argue with me and be like, Milana, that's not paranormal activity. That's just, you know, lots of things could be going on. Maybe you ate something before nighttime, blah, blah, blah. I agree. It doesn't have to be a paranormal thing for me to have these vivid dreams, but they don't stop. They keep on going, and yeah. So that's been a thing too. I just thought I should include it in this video because it's just been happening a lot. Those were the two, like very mild things that has been happening. Next things I'm about to go into are kind of very scary and you might not even believe when I tell you these things, but they have been happening. Not lying, I would never lie to you guys. It's just, it is what it is, it's been happening. It's a story time, you either believe it or you don't. So if you wanna get creeped out, get your popcorn, sit down and let's go. So one day I came back from school and per usual what I do, I go upstairs into my room, I change into like comfy clothes, and then I go downstairs and I go eat. So that particular day, I was wearing this Nike, 
Nike hoodie. A lot of you have been asking me where I got that hoodie from. I got it from Nike. Um, and what happened was I took it off and I put it on my chair, the one that I'm sitting on right now. I put my chair, I put my jeans on my chair, and I changed into like shorts and like a pajama top because that's what I wear at home. Don't judge me. And I went downstairs to eat. And uh, because I'm wearing like shorts and a tank top, I got really cold. So right away I went upstairs and I just wanted to put on my hoodie. My hoodie wasn't here. My hoodie wasn't on my chair. My hoodie was just gone. It was not in my room. At that point, I was like, okay, um, I 100% remember coming upstairs. And I 100% remember putting it on my chair. So where the hell is my hoodie? I don't know. I started looking around. Nowhere to be found. Just my jeans. No hoodie. At this point, I'm scared, but I'm like, hey, you know what, Milana, maybe it's in the kitchen, maybe you already took it with you. I looked everywhere in the kitchen, nowhere to be found. I went to the bathroom, maybe I was changing in the bathroom, I don't know. Nowhere to be found. I checked the whole second floor, nowhere to be found, girl. And then I, you know, I thought about it, and I'm like, hey, maybe my dad, because my dad was home when I got home, but then he left. So I'm like, maybe my dad took it, but realistically, why the hell would my dad need my hoodie? Coming up with more ideas as to where my hoodie could have gone. I checked my backpack. I checked everywhere. Nowhere to be found. I literally ran upstairs and downstairs like 50 times trying to find my hoodie. Nowhere to be found. So I start walking towards this area, this sitting area in my house. Um, it's like a living room. And um, there's like three couches. And as I'm dialing my dad's number, I'm walking over there, you know, casually trying to call and um, sitting down on the couch while the phone is ringing. And as I look across from where I'm sitting, because there's like the couches are set up in a certain way where I'm looking across and I see my hoodie on that couch, like across from me. There's a couch in front of me and my hoodie, as I'm calling and looking at that couch, my hoodie is just like, like this. Like, it's like... It's not even placed nicely or anything, it just, th it looked like someone threw it on the couch. I was just like sitting there and I was just trying to think, I'm like, I didn't even walk into this room. I don't remember coming into this room, I don't usually go into that room because like, I don't need anything in that room, I don't sit on couches daily in the living room where there's like no TV, it's just a room with couches. I don't spend my time there. Why the hell is my hoodie there? Don't know, girl. I don't know how it happened. So that freaked me out because I 100%, 120% know that I didn't go into that room. I didn't place my hoodie there. I don't spend my time in that room because there's nothing to do in that room. It's just couches. It's just for guests. Um, yeah, so that happened. Give me a reason why my hoodie was there. You can't because I don't even know why it was there. So yeah, that's one thing that happened that creeped me out very much. The next thing that had happened was um this week it was i believe it was on monday and i was just chilling on my bed it was nighttime. i was just doing my essay because it was due on tuesday i was just typing up my essay and i got a phone call from my best friend and you can even ask her because it happened as i was on the phone with my best friend um we were talking for three hours literally three hours so this was sunday february 28th 2016 our phone call was two hours and I think it was 38 minutes, as you guys could see. So as I'm on the phone talking to my best friend for like three hours at this point, um, my electricity turns off in my room. And right off the bat, I tell Christine, I'm like, oh my god, my power just went off. And my first reaction to when my electricity ever goes off, I look straight outside. Like outside my windows, I check if my neighbor's lights are off, if the street lights are off. And um, as I'm looking like right across from my house, my neighbor's lights are on. So then I look again and the street lights are on. So I'm like, um, something's wrong. I went on my computer and I checked if my Wi-Fi was on and it was on. So that's a problem because if your power is off, your Wi-Fi is going to shut off, obviously, right? But my Wi-Fi was still on. So I checked and saw that my Wi-Fi is still working. I thought that it was like my pot lights. Maybe they like burnt out or whatever so then I walk towards my light switch and my, I'll show you what I'm talking about my light switch um, went from the top 
straight to the bottom. It's okay, so here is my light switch. It doesn't look like a normal light switch because normal ones are like click ones. Up is a lot, and then as you go slowly down, it gets lower and lower and lower and lower, right? You guys could see that. But what had happened was it went from here to here, right that. But yeah, my light switch literally went from the top to the bottom on its own, which I think is weird. And it didn't go like slowly, it literally just shut itself off, which scared me. But the excuse and the reason that I made up in my head is like, oh, you know what, maybe it's a setting, maybe after three hours, it's like a safety setting, you know, technology 2016, maybe, there, maybe that's what I have. But my dad told me I don't have that. So yeah, that was really scary. And the last thing that had happened was the grand finale. Um, and after it happened, I was like, you know, story time. <laughs> so the light thing happened on Sunday. And the next thing that I'm about to talk about happened on Monday night. So my parents came home. Um, they went to bed. And it was about 11 p.m. And I had to finish up my essay, that the one that I was typing up. That night, I decided to go downstairs to my office because my room was just so distracting. And it was the night before and I had to get it done. So that's what I did. I went downstairs to my office. I go into that room and I set everything up. I put my laptop down. I put my notes down. So imagine this. Two minutes into my, you know, productivity as I'm doing my assignment, the door next to the office door, which is the basement door, swings back and slams itself but no, it doesn't fully shut it just keeps on slamming itself and this happened twice and my heart start racing um, I remember Shane Dawson talking about this how if there is a spirit or a ghost beside you or in the same room as you your heartbeat starts to race and it starts to get faster and faster so at that point my heart was racing so fast it maybe because I got scared I don't know what it was but my my heart was just racing super super fast right away I grabbed all my stuff I shut that basement door and I just ran upstairs into my room and I finished my assignment in my room because I just could not be there it was very creepy it's just yeah I was very scared so yeah that was my paranormal activity story part two um, I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to comment down below letting me know what was the worst paranormal activity thing that you've ever experienced because I would love to know that. I love hearing other people's stories. And also, you guys, quick announcement before I go. I'm going to start vlogging starting next week so you guys could see, you know, what I'm doing. I'm very excited about that. I've always, ever since I've started YouTubing, that was my number one dream is to vlog so if you guys are fans of vloggers and you like vlogs um, make sure to follow me on there I promise I will not disappoint you I'm gonna go now I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye Mwah.